Hi, my name is Adrian Sparling. I'm a PhD candidate at York University in the Department of Civil Engineering. And I'm here to talk to you about the Bergeron Center's High Bay Lab uh, on the York University campus. Our lab is equipped with a full slate of state-of-the-art uh, testing equipment, including a universal testing machine, concrete cylinder testing machine, uh, as well as a high, uh, high power hydraulic power unit that can supply multiple actuators for operation in tandem at once when needed. Uh, we're also equipped with a overhead bridge crane that uh, we obviously need for the type of uh, large construction products that we undertake within the lab. We also have a state-of-the-art data acquisition system that can uh, track uh, dozens of channels simultaneously and allow us to uh, monitor these during testing. The space we have is sufficient to accommodate uh, full-scale specimens, including full-scale uh, masonry walls, uh, full-scale uh, shear walls as well. Uh, the test frames that we've constructed in our lab so far include simple ones for uh, bending of beams uh, or axial, unconfined axial loading of simple specimens, but also more complex frames for testing uh, out-of-plane uh, flexure of uh, walls, or in plane shear of uh, shear walls. What I'm working on currently is a testing of eight meter tall, so very tall, very slender reinforced masonry walls under combined axial load, vertical load, and out of plane load. And what I'm doing is comparing the behavior of walls with a conventional type of reinforcement that's embedded and grouted to walls with near surface mounted reinforcement. Uh, preliminary results we have indicate that our walls with the near surface mounted reinforcement uh, are much stiffer and stronger than walls with uh, conventional reinforcement when they're subjected to the same uh, axial load. If this made you curious about our uh, high bay in the Bergeron Center, come check out our, the website and uh, for some more information. Take care.